YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And today, we're still working on the air compressor. And But that's not about the air compressor. It's about the filter I'm making. This come off of a ceiling fan. And it's got a cap that goes to it. Just like that. And then it's got two screws that hold that cap on. Well, I needed a filter for the air compressor that looked good. And that looks pretty good. It's brass. It can be polished up. And what I've done, I took a, a nipple like that. And it's got a hex head on it and then I just put a cap on the other end to squeeze it together and tighten it up so now it will screw right into the compressor so now what we need to do is I'm gonna have to figure out an easy way of doing this I want to put vents all the way around here and I want to use these holes that's already there now this one we're going to have to do something a little different maybe we can do some kind of a uh, just a straight with circles on it on each side so that means that I would just drill these out a little bigger and then uh, cut the excess out and we'll do the same thing on this side. And then for the remainder of all the holes on the side, maybe we can just uh, pepper holes, you know, across it, all the way around it, and make some kind of a design. Then once I've got that taken care of, I've got this foam and you can breathe through it. a little hard so I'm not sure if this is going to be the right material for it because this is really tight foam uh, I need a loose foam like you would find in a uh, Briggs and Stratton motor or something like that uh, but we're going to try this and see if it if it works the motor too hard by trying to suck the air in then um, we have to go a different route but I plan to cut a circle out to go in there and um, use it as a filter the original one is god awful noisy and I've heard the difference between this one and my homemade filter and I'm going to use the same concept as this. So we're going to put a piece of uh, foam in here and see what happens. See, we got holes in the back too, so that'll help. So we just need to pepper this with holes. So I'm going to figure out how to do that and go from there. You guys stay tuned. Alright, so what we've done here is like, we already know where the centers are simply because the hole for the switch and the hole for the reversing switch are straight across from each other. So I've drawn the line right there and I've drawn the line right here. Alright, then we know that these are across from each other, so I've draw the line here. And here. Alright. Now, we're going to try to find center to that. And we're just going to eyeball it, because we're not going to try to get perfect. Although I could, let's see here. 
right, we can do it this way. That's two and a half inches, so two, one and a quarter the center. Alright guys, we've got this indicated and what we've done is used the dividing head that I built, that's bison built, and clamped it down to the uh, to the table and I'll show you there what we got. I just made some bars and clamped it down with some all thread and ain't gonna move. Got my indexer ready to go. So now, we're just going to worry about turns. We're not going to worry about a certain spot. So let's get started. Alright guys, uh, I've got everything mounted down, and um, this is such flimsy stuff that when you squeeze it with the uh, four jaw chuck, it just kind of squeezes it and it really doesn't tighten it very good. So, I mean, I got a small grip to it, just enough to hold it from spinning, and um, I had a problem with it, it kept coming off. As I drill these holes so I put this fence that used to be on my bandsaw when I made a new fence on here with a uh, uh, t-nut and then I clamped a piece of quarter inch steel there that will keep this from coming out so that the line will always be where I've got it so we're gonna go ahead and start drilling this but first I gotta find out who's here so so now we're going to go ahead and drill this, and I've already started with this one and one straight across from it. So, and then I tried to start this one and it started moving on me, so hopefully that's in there pretty solid. So now we're going to go to the next one. And go from there. Alright guys, now that we're over here at the bench, we've taken the tape off of it. Now, there's a couple spots here, like that, right there where that switch was, it didn't line up very good. And this one here, the hole lined up right in the center of that. So, we can just, we'll do something to make that look better. 
So now I'm just going to take my little trusty uh, chamfering tool and do the outside. kitchen to find something so we're going to use a uh, showtime knife and hope we get this nice and straight look pretty straight to me now we'll go ahead and cut the next side. Then we'll go ahead and cut this side. Tell you the best way to cut this stuff is to sandwich it in between two pieces of wood real tight. Now we're getting down here to where it's going to be Now, we got these two ears to deal with. They ain't the best looking job, but once it squeezes in there, it should be okay. So now we're just taking run that in just like that. And I think that will make a nice filter. What do you think, guys? Now, I'll shorten these so that it doesn't push the foam down too awful bad. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and shorten these or find some shorter screws. So, once we get the paint on it, that'll look really good. So, let's go ahead and paint this and go from there. I'll be right back. Alright guys, uh, we've got all of our pieces. We painted it. Looks pretty good. Now we're going to put her together. As you guys notice, I clamped this to the bench and made a nice little uh, vise for over here. So now we're going to take and screw that down on there. And we'll 
we'll put it pretty tight. Then we'll take this cap, which is a compression fitting nut, and tighten that. Now, in an ideal situation, you could silver solder it, but I don't see any purpose in doing that. It's pretty tight. Then, as you remember, we uh, took and cut this out and made it a square like this, and then I just cut the 45s off the edge of it. You've seen that. Then, went to get it nice and smooth to a certain degree, doesn't really matter. Uh, all you're doing is just making it fit down in here. I took it over to the wire wheel and just barely touched it. And a wire wheel actually grinds uh, shapes, uh, foam, really good. So now we get to squeeze, squeeze that down inside there. Just like so. Then, got her plate. And yes, I got a run in the daggone thing. Made me mad. Let's see, the other side's got a run in it too. Yep, they both sides got freaking. I don't like that new paint I got. And these screws came out of a uh, computer that held the motherboard down. And you got an opening here for air to go through. You got all your holes around the edge. Brass fitting. And we're ready to screw it on the... Uh, air compressor and see how she looks. So let's do a recap of what this is. We have uh, foam. We have a light holder for a ceiling fan that we drilled holes in all the way around it. We got a brass fitting that screws into the air compressor. So now let's go over and put it in the air compressor and see if it works. All right, now we're over here at the air compressor. Now let's try out our new, uh, new filter. And then we'll take and I'm always um, not prepared. I never can find my wrenches when I need them because everything is so out of place. And we're just going to turn it to where these here go straight around. We might go around one more time. Of course, I've got my The wrench ain't big enough, or it's too big. And there we have it. A nice muffler that I guarantee you is going to be quiet. Does that look good or what? That is badass. <laughs> uh, just to recap, I just had a, a message um, on this. I do realize that this is a water uh, uh, thing that allows water to go down in here. This is still hollow from here down to here. So, you know, this is only temporary. 
this is not going to be there I'm going to put that up there I'm just waiting until I can get some copper line this is only for test purposes uh, I do realize that this is low uh, but like I said it's only for test purposes once I've got the air compressor tested and it's working properly then we take this thing clear apart and this here will be up here at this line instead of down here and um, so there you have the filter homemade filter made out of a ceiling fan light fixture holder thing in the bobber <laughs> anyway I'm Bob you guys have a good one Later.